So as I said so many times by now, sometimes you just don't have the muse. You just don't have anything funny or entertaining or, or inspirational or educational to talk about. But look at what I'm doing. It's like and it's like marketingception, you know, an inception of an inception. Like I'm talking to you about not having anything to talk about. So what's my point here? I am currently taking up your space and time. If you're watching this video right now, you're paying attention to who? To me. <laughs> Robbie. <laughs> so essentially, I don't have anything to say, but I'm still able to uh, produce something because again, I talk about it so much in my videos. It's not about the inspiration. It's not about having the best idea right now for a video. Even if you don't have what to talk about, it's better to be seen. Are some people uh, not gonna like it? Yeah, of course. Uh, would some people prefer the best content you have and to hear you in your amazingness? Yeah, but that doesn't mean you should not show yourself because it's all a game of attention marketing, sales, how much attention can I get? The more attention you get, the more influence you'll have. So my goal is to get you to think about me, to see me, to hear me, to consider my proposal of working with me, to think about the book which I'm writing as much as possible and do it with as many people as possible. That's the way you want to go about it. So this actually made me think of another idea, which is that, you know, the fact that I don't have anything specific to talk about, anything extraordinary or any idea, you know, on one hand, yeah, it's, it's like, you know, I'd, I'd rather have a really, really good idea of what to talk about right now but on the other hand, I guess I kind of feel like you right now. <laughs> Sorry to say, but you know, it's true. I kind of feel how you feel right now, where if you're going to make a video right now, you'll be like, oh, but I don't have anything to talk about. Then you'll procrastinate and you just stop. Like I have so many students that I tell them, you know, clients would be a better word, um, that tell me like, hey, I didn't make a video. I didn't have anything to talk about. And that's like the biggest issue is like, you know, I want to get attention. I rob it. I get it. I get it. Like I get it that attention equals influence. I get it. The more influence I get, the, the more success I'll have, you know, more money, better relation. Everything is better when you have influence. But I don't know what to do to get the attention. So the thing is to, to get the attention, you just need to get attention. <laughs> so even if you don't have anything specific to talk about right now, you know that yeah I told you in the previous video like look work on your um, on your creativeness hone your craft uh, you know develop your craft so that you'll have things to talk about but that doesn't mean wait it means do it while you get attention so get attention for stupid shit you know post dumb pictures Make videos of you just ranting on dumb ideas. Anything, you know? Any, of course, not something that you'll be ashamed of or something that you'll regret. Like, uh, in my integrity, I love this audience. I love my audience. I cherish my audience. So I'll never allow myself to kind of post anything that's, you know, that I would look at and I would be like, okay, I just wasted their time. So if I, 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 I do a video and I get a feeling like I just wasted your time, I just I won't upload it. So that's part of my criteria, my standards. But if I'm doing a video like this, which yeah, it's a bit of a rant, it's a bit unclear, unfocused, off the cuff, 
but I feel like, hey, I'm, I'm delivering value, I'm actually helping you realize things while you're listening, then I want to use this to get attention. Again, is it the best I can offer? No, but is it better than nothing? Yeah, of course. Uh, would it be better for me to have a workout that was eh? Then, or, or just not work out at all? Is it better to eat okay food? Or should I just, you know, if it's not the best food, I'll just eat the, the, the worst food. Is it better to have a bad meditation that lasts only a couple of minutes? Or should I just not meditate at all? It's the principle of one is greater than zero. It's always better to do something than uh, doing nothing. As long as that action isn't uh, a loss, meaning as long as I'm not doing anything that would hurt me, like making a video where I um, say something that I don't believe in, or making a video that makes me feel bad about what I just posted, I'm always in a net gain. So it might be a small net gain, it might be a large net gain. So this video is basically for all you guys who want to fucking start already. Come on, start anything. You know, whatever it is you think of starting, or maybe you told me in the comments or in the private message that you're gonna start. Dude, just fucking start. Like, just do something every day. You know, don't, don't, you know, I had a, one of my good friends, uh, his name is Aviad. And he lately hasn't been eating a lot of fruits and vegetables. And I, I pummeled into him because I'm like, dude, it's so important. You have to eat, blah, blah, blah. So I asked him, why are we not eating fruits and vegetables? And I found out that he doesn't have any fruits and vegetables in his house right now. So I asked him, okay, so, uh, you know, when are you going to go and buy fruits and vegetables? And he told me, oh, no, no, I'm, uh, I'm actually going to start doing uh, fruit shakes soon. So I told him, look, um, fruit shakes are a bonus. They take a lot of effort. They're not easy to make. You know, it takes a couple of minutes. You need to wash it. You need to have the ingredients. You know, the, the shake could go bad. It's, it's, it's an added habit. It's something you add on top of good habits. You don't use that as your only option. So... Start eating fruits, like from tomorrow morning, get some bananas, get some apples, put them on the table, and once you're in the habit of eating fruits every day, now you can start doing shakes as well. Once you have the fundamentals down, the root level, go for the next level, which is the foundations. Okay, hope this makes sense all these concepts tie together remember uh, you use habits daily habits you, use, you do a daily habit but you can't do the daily habit because you don't have the inspiration and then I say look do it even if you don't have the inspiration and also the whole idea of inspiration that relates to the three levels of success video which talks about root fundamentals and nuance levels focus on the root you don't need inspiration for root you don't need inspiration to lift up uh, weights. You don't need inspiration to uh, make a fucking video. You need inspiration for the nuance and for the fundamental levels where you kind of want to improve what you have. Makes sense? I hope so. Uh, let me know if it does. Let me know if this video helped you. I have a lot of coaching calls coming up this week, so expect some really, really good content because, I, like I said, I always get the best content after coaching calls. And uh, either way, talk to me, dudes, and dudettes. <laughs> Send me a message. Let me know how you're doing. Chat me. Challenge me. Ask me to coach you. Maybe I'll give you a free coaching call like subscribe I want you to interact with me it makes me happy